Hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel. All right, we're starting a new series on this channel. I literally just woke up, if that wasn't obvious at all. Um, I'm trying to like wake up and get myself to do stuff because I work the closing shift like every other day so I can sleep in, but I try not to sleep in too late so I actually do stuff the morning before going to work, which is really hard for my brain to do, but I'm trying to do it. So in this series, it's kind of similar to like the studio vlogs that I do basically, but I asked you guys on Instagram if you would like to see me just doing like crochet vlogs or just crafting vlogs where I just like crochet or make stuff and show you guys my projects, talk about them, give you ideas, maybe show you some stuff, I don't know, uh, yarn hauls, stuff like that. I made a goal for this year that I wanted to crochet more projects for myself because last year I crocheted so many things but I don't, I have like one or two items to show for it because it was things that I sold or gifted to other people and I barely even kept anything for myself. So I want to do a like everything I made in 2023 video. I already like made the timeline for it and everything. I just need to film it. So that might be a video that I do, I'm not sure. But anyways, to get to my point, I wanted to start showing you guys my projects and things that I'm making. And I made the goal for myself this year that I wanted to start making more projects that I keep for myself. So like clothing items or items that I'll use because I have only ever made one clothing piece for myself and I've also like never made a blanket, which I would love to do. And there's just so many things that I would really love to make this year. So I've been upping up my crochet game. I've been getting some better supplies. I have an Amazon haul coming today with some new crochet items that I have been wanting for a while. And also Joann's is doing a huge 70% off sale on their website and their yarn is like dirt cheap. Like their acrylic yarn is literally like a dollar fifty, and their blanket yarn is like four dollars a skein. And I got 14, 15 skeins of super bulky yarn for sixty dollars. My coworker, she got twenty two skeins of yarn for like sixty five dollars, just like acrylic yarn. That's amazing. So I'll be showing all of that in this video. I'm just waiting for it in the mail. I wanted to show you guys some projects that I have finished recently that I've been keeping for myself and um, I'm very proud of them. I've been trying to also make some more TikToks, like showing the projects that I make to grow my TikTok a little bit more, like my business TikTok. Um, I know I have like multiple TikTok accounts, but like the way the algorithm is, I just don't like doing a bunch of different things on different TikTok accounts because I just feel like you don't hit that like niche of the algorithm. So I have like a business account where I show like my crochet items. So this is like my first one. I'm very proud of this one because I kind of just eyeballed it and just made a bunch of shapes and put it all together. I have been looking for a crochet hook supplies container that's not like a bag or anything for so long. And I just can't really find one that I like. So I decided to make one. I don't know why I didn't decide to just make one already for myself. So I just made a bunch of shapes and I made my own crochet hook holder and it came out exactly how I wanted it. I mean, it's a little lumpy here and there. There's not perfectly straight lines, but honestly, I'm really proud of this because I just kind of thought of it and just started making it with no thoughts. And this is all single crochet, so this took me a while. I basically made a big rectangle of this like periwinkle color. This is the yarn my grandma got me for Christmas. And then I made another rectangle a little bit smaller with the white yarn. So I made two separate rectangles. And then I also made a rectangle here. And then I made a rectangle that kind of like tapers in here. And once again, rectangle, a tapered rectangle, and then literally just like a smaller rectangle. And I sewed all of these smaller ones onto the white sheet and I literally just sewed it on with a needle. And then I also sewed these like grooves into here that hold the hooks into place. And I did this top bit so the hooks didn't fall out of the top and they just kind of hook in so they don't fall when I'm like shaking it around and stuff. And I sewed all of those into the white part and then I sewed the white onto the back onto the purple so that's why you can kind of see some like stitches here so it blended into the back i didn't want to use white yarn and i sewed it together just like this so over here i hang my stitch markers i had a couple questions on what these little charms were these are just really cute stitch markers that i got from hobby lobby i had other stitch markers but i lost literally all of them so i just hung out these like cute ones and i hope i don't lose them and then this pocket right here i don't have a button or anything on it just because i don't feel like it needs one 
but in this pocket I have my arthritis gloves if my hands are aching this helps my hands I have my yarn needles in here my stitch counter device that sticks on my finger and it counts the rows as I'm crocheting and also just some random embroidery thread <laughs> that I put in there apparently and all of this fits in here and then once again all of my crochet hooks are over on this side I'm probably going to take out these like really tiny ones and replace them with like the bigger ones because I don't really use two millimeter um, these are for like micro projects which I don't hardly ever do so I'll probably just keep these as backup somewhere else. But um, Lisa Bond, one of my subscribers here, um, bought me all of these new crochet hooks. And they have these like beautiful, the, it almost looks like Palmer Clay edges to them. And they're beautiful. So I wanted to use all of these in here just because they're so pretty. So it goes from two all the way up until six. And then I also have another container that has some of my bigger ones. But this one right here is a 6.5. But I have some like, seven eight nine ten hooks in another like pencil case somewhere else and i'll just pull those out whenever i need them but i just wanted to use my decorative hooks because i thought it looks really pretty and then it just folds close like this and i just had this random button laying around my grandma gave me her collection of buttons that i organized and then i crocheted a little strap like this so now i can carry this around i haven't blocked it yet so the edges are curled um, I have a steamer that's coming in the mail tomorrow that I'm going to try to use. It's been working perfect for me. I feel like I've been talking about this for way too long, but I am very proud of it and I really like it. It took me days to make. It took so long because it's all single crochets. So it literally took forever, but I'm obsessed with it and I'm really happy. And then the next project that I made was a little sweater for my dog. So on Sunday, it was like 15 degrees outside, which may not be cold for some of you guys, but I live in the South. I live in Georgia. It's not ever 15 degrees here. I was freezing. My heater wasn't working because my heat heating unit literally froze over. It was cold. Okay. And I have a Chihuahua. This is my Chihuahua. And Chihuahuas are known for just being cold or shaking literally all the time. And she was shaking like crazy. So I just randomly made this little sweater for her. I just also eyeballed it so it is a little big. I guess I can go ahead and put it on her because it is still very cold outside. It's not 15 degrees, but it is still cold. And I made a little TikTok making this sweater for her. And she is very popular online now because of just how cute she is. I made this like little ribbed part out of the white... Um, I just did like back or front loop. I don't remember what I did. And then a bunch of half double crochets here. And then down here, I actually tried a new stitch that I've never heard of before. It's like front post double crochet and back post double crochet. I've never even heard of that before. And then I saw a random tutorial on it and how it kind of makes it stretchy. And I wanted the back of the project to be kind of stretchy and I also just really like the ribbed look that it gives so I tried it and it came out really cute. I don't know what my next project is going to be yet. I definitely want to make like a crocheted like shrug to wear and I also want to make some strawberry earrings and then I also want to make a Kindle poof for my Kindle. If you guys are like on the book talk community at all I pretty much avoid it because I just don't really like book talk but there was this UGG poof that went viral on there and now the UGG poofs are selling for like over $100 by resellers. Like I'm never going to spend $100 on a poof. So I found a pattern and I'll put it down below for a crocheted one. And I have a bunch of super bulky yarn coming in the mail from Joann's and I'm going to use that to make a Kindle poof. And it's basically just like a little poof that has like a pocket that you sit your Kindle on. So when you're just like laying in bed or sitting on the couch, you could put your Kindle on it and you don't have to hold your Kindle and it just sits on the poof in your lap. And you can also use it for like an iPad and stuff too. So those are the next projects that I want to make. Something else will probably come up because I'm a mood reader and I'm also a mood crocheter. So I'll randomly get the urge to make something and then I spend the next like month making it randomly. So I'm trying to wake up right now. So I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee and I'm in the process of deep cleaning my studio office library room. My master bedroom is a mix of many things, which I'll show you. And I guess I'll clean some of that with you guys and show you guys kind of my workspace. Um, this is just a vlog basically where I talk about projects. Okay, I have my coffee and I have two hours until I have to be 
to work. Definitely should have woken up earlier. So this is my library slash studio office space. This is my master bedroom in my house. I only use my bedroom to sleep, so I just didn't make this my sleeping bedroom. Turned it into literally everything else. But it is currently a mess because I did some furniture switching. I took the green chair that I had in here and I put it downstairs in my living room because my boyfriend got me this gigantic bean bag for Christmas and it literally took up so much space that I didn't have enough space in here for a bean bag and a chair. So now the bean bag is like the focal point <laughs> of the room and I'm gonna be moving that to where the chair was right here. I just got finished getting ready for work. I just put a little bit of makeup on. It's probably not focusing. And I'm wearing my Powerpuff Girls sweatshirt. But I finished cleaning the room, as you can see. The trash bag is still over there because I have to put it outside, but everything's clean. I've got the bean bag in the middle of the room and a cat tunnel, but so much space. Now I can do more crafts in here and everything feels good and clean, which I'm really happy about. So I have 20 minutes until I have to leave for work and I realized that I have not eaten breakfast or lunch. So I probably need to eat a little bit of something. So I'm gonna go eat and I'm actually going to paint a little bit at work. We're in the slow season at work. And if you're new here, I work as a librarian at a public library. So it's really slow in the month of January. It's the slowest month of the entire year. So pretty dead. Um, so I pretty much spend my entire shift like reading, painting, making crafts, shelving, like just doing things to pass the time. I am hand painting some watercolor bookmarks for my Patreon subscription box. And I have my watercolor paper here and my watercolor set from Arteza. So I'm going to take this to work with me and finish doing my watercolor bookmarks for the box and then that'll be done. And then when I get home after work tonight, I'm going to be finishing these little trinket boxes that I'm also making for my Patreon subscription box. And then those are all be done and I'll be able to either start packing them tonight or pack them tomorrow and ship them out tomorrow. So pretty excited for that. I'm gonna go ahead and head to work. Okay, it's later in the night and I got home from work a couple of hours ago and I ate dinner. And now I am upstairs. I got one of my Amazon packages that I'm gonna show because it has some crafting stuff in it that I want to show you guys. Ooh, okay. Here it is, a little sneak peek. So the first item here, which I thought was gonna be a lot bigger, but I don't know if I even read the description, which is a fatal flaw of something that I frequently do. So first I bought this yarn to make a Kindle poof. But then I bought that other yarn from Joann's that I'm going to use instead. And I don't know what I'm gonna use this for, but I got it on Amazon. Um, they're really small though. I thought they were gonna be bigger. I've never tried this brand before. It's Jubilee Yarn. This is Chunky Melody. It's 70% wool and 30% acrylic. So it's one of the mixed yarns. This is a bulky yarn and it's in rainbow sherbet. This color is so beautiful. Absolutely love the color. It's 114 yards, so I can probably make like one bigger project, like a clothing item out of this, but I don't know if it would be good to make a clothing item out of bulky yarn. I feel like this would be really cute as like a little shrug that I wanted to make because it's a rainbow, so it can match like a bunch of different things, or it could go over like a white shirt too. So I may use this for that because this is just so pretty. And that's the only project that I can think of. Um, I didn't really even buy it for any specific project. I just thought it was really pretty. And then this thing right here is actually going to be for a future video. I want to start a series on my channel where I try kits, like crochet kits, 
either from Amazon, uh, Etsy, wherever I see, to test them out and see if they are actually reasonable for beginners or if they're worth the price. Because, and this is something that I can discuss more in detail in the future, but I do feel like a lot of, there's one specific one I'm thinking of in general, of crochet businesses that kind of scam beginners into buying these like really expensive crochet kits that are just really not needed to learn how to crochet and to scam beginners into spending that money because they really want to learn and I don't like it. It makes me feel icky and I want to try all of these beginner kits to see if they're really worth the money. So here is just a little sneak peek of it. This is gonna be a future video. I'm actually probably gonna film it this weekend. So it comes with everything that you need to crochet and I am going to attempt to make it with all of the supplies given in the kit and nothing else. So I'm really excited for this actually. I have been wanting to do a little series on my channel like this for a while. So stay tuned for that video. Make sure to subscribe and put my post notifications on so you can see that video in the future. But yeah, there's my little haul. I'm still waiting on my other packages. I think they're coming tomorrow. And I also bought a storage organizer to organize all of my yarn as well. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of organizing in this video. I am now gonna get to painting. I wasn't able to paint at work today. So now for the rest of the night, I am going to be painting some woodland themed bookmarks from my Patreon box and watch some TV on my projector. guys it is the next day and I am I look exhausted because I am I worked all day today and then I came home and I did some cleaning and you know I got another Amazon package with some crochet items so I wanted to show you it well this one's just kind of like a journaling item I got some Alice in Wonderland themed stickers for my reading journal because I've been reading two Alice in Wonderland retellings, so I wanted to have stickers to match my little spread for them. And then, like I said earlier in the video, I got this little steamer because the best way to lay, especially acrylic, yarn projects is to steam them instead of like washing them. You can wash them and block them as well. You're supposed to do that. But acrylic actually lays better with a steam iron rather than using just water. So I got this little iron. I'll put a link for it down below. I'll put it on my Amazon storefront. And it's a little steamer, like perfectly hand-sized. And we're gonna try it out. Comes with a little mitten, which that's pretty cool. It was pretty affordable too. It was like 15 bucks. And it's really nice to have one of these on hand anyway, because you never know when you're gonna need one. And I got the purple one. So here's what it looks like. It's purple with like this really pretty like rose gold on the outside. Basically just hold it and you steam your item in your hand. It's really like small. It also has a little stand for it too. Comes with the measuring cup for it. And then I also need to read the instructions because I've actually never used a steamer before. I'm pretty sure it just takes some common sense, but I'm gonna go ahead and test it out on the crochet hook holder I made because the edges curl like this because I didn't block it. And I did spray all of the rectangles with water and try to block them, but it just didn't stay curled. So I'm gonna try to see if the steamer will keep the edges perfectly straight.
This made me irrationally angry as I was building it, but we finished. I'll put a link for it down below. It comes with enough doors to cover every single cube, but I really want my yarn to be able to show colorfully inside of there. And if Claudine starts acting up and she starts pulling out the yarn and running around with it and stuff, then I will definitely put the doors on, but I'm hoping that I won't have to do that. And I only put the doors near the bottom so I can hide ugly stuff in there, but I want the yarn to show. Here's my yarn collection. This is years worth of yarn. If you think this is a lot, you should have seen my collection growing up <laughs> as like a kid and at my parents' house. I had like a whole closet full of yarn. It was, it was bad. So this is pretty good considering most of my life I just hoard yarn and I probably will get to that point again because I just crochet so much now. But I want to organize all of this. It's been really hard for me to find what I need to find because it's just not organized and it was just thrown in a closet. So now I'll have everything designated to this area. Lighting's really terrible because it's late at night, but up here, I'm going to put my crochet books that I have. And I'm also gonna try to get some like plants and pictures to put up here to cover this. So I wanna like set maybe like a picture up here to just like cover that area. And then yeah, put my crochet books up here. I'll show more of it tomorrow when the natural lighting is outside, but color coded it. I obviously have more plain colors like whites, grays, blacks, beiges. So those took up a lot. I have a little bit of every single color and I have some like rainbow ones and stuff too. So like I said, I'll show that more tomorrow, but I do have a little bit of the last Amazon haul for my crochet stuff. And then my Joann's order are both on the way. I don't know when those are coming, but I will probably show those in this video too. This year I am doing a project and I'm doing it with my coworker because she had the idea that every single time I finish a book this year, I'm going to make a granny square that looks like the book or relates to the book in some type of way. And by the end of the year, if I read my reading goal, which is a hundred books, then I should be able to have enough squares for a blanket. So I got this granny square book because I couldn't find any like modern granny square books in the library system. So I went ahead and bought one because I just knew that I would just be using it. It's a lot more modern, which I prefer. It's literally called a modern guide to get granny squares because a lot of old crochet books, you can tell that they're dated. Like they're not to today's time period. And I just don't like some of them. And I'm really into a lot of these granny squares and I would just change the colors to what I would need to match the book. And then I'll have a blanket full of some beautiful granny squares relating to my books. And I'm also gonna share this book with my coworker too, so she can take some ideas from it as well. So I figured I'd just go ahead and buy it. So this is also gonna go up here. So this is the project that I'm currently working on and I'm almost done with it. I showed you guys the clips while I was working and I've almost finished the shrug that I want to make. So this is the yarn that I showed you guys. I've already used one whole roll and I don't know if I have enough left to finish the shrug and I really hope I do. I'll put it on and show you guys what it looks like so far. So I obviously would not be wearing a t-shirt. I'd be wearing like a tank top and I'm not done. I'm gonna make the sleeve a lot bigger. So cute, imagine with like a cute tank top underneath. The colors and everything are just beautiful. All right, it's the next day and the lighting is not any better because it's thunderstorming outside and the natural lighting in my house is so bad. So you can't even really, see how beautiful it is in the natural lighting. I put some stuff at the top up here. It doesn't really match. I'll eventually find some cute stuff to put up here, but I have this little knitted Maleficent that my boyfriend got me. So I put her up here because she looks like she's made of yarn. Yeah, I don't know. I'll eventually get some more crochet books and stuff and put them up here, but my Joann's order, well, a little bit of my Joann's order showed up. Half of it came from USPS and that came in like two days because USPS is amazing. I actually really love USPS. I ship all of my small business stuff with them and they're so quick. FedEx on the other hand, which is where my other yarn is coming from, I have no idea when that's coming. That has been 
on the way for like four days now with no updates because FedEx sucks. So I don't know when that yarn is coming. We have this half here. So like I said, this was part of the Joanne sale. I don't know if this sale is still happening. Definitely go check out the website. But I got four, I think. Yeah, four skeins of the Big Twist yarn. This is 240 yards. It's 100% acrylic and these were $1.15 each. Um, I don't know if this is the Joann's brand. I believe it is. And this is in the color Party. And I want to make like a sweater out of this. So that's why I got four of them. I want to learn how to knit. That is something that I want to try to do this year is I want to learn how to knit a sweater. So I don't know if four skeins is enough to knit an entire sweater, but I got four of them just because they were so cheap. And I really, really do like this color. It's very enjoyable to like get new yarn and then like put it over here. I love how this looks. The yarn lasted throughout the night without being attacked by a cat. And this is the cat in question. She's the one who likes to run around with the things that I love. Um, give it a couple days. She probably will figure out that she can pull those things out and play with them. But so far, they lasted throughout the night. I came down this morning and everything was in its rightful place. I'm probably jinxing that right now. Deanie. Deanie. Why are you upset? Spectra also loves yarn, but she won't pull it out. Claudine will pull it out and then Spectra will collaborate with her and then they'll play with it together. But. Hey guys, it's the next day and as you saw from the little bit of footage that I filmed, I went yarn shopping today. Well, I kind of just went to the craft store because I was already beside one and I was going to get some knitting needles, but the knitting needles are pretty expensive at Michael's, so I didn't end up getting any, but I did find some yarn that was on sale for $5 because it has like absolutely no inclination on it. Like the workers didn't even know how to ring it up. It didn't have any barcode or anything on it. It was thrown in the clearance area. It's normally $13 and I got it for five. So I think it's one of the like cake brands, um, like the Karen, is that what it's called? It starts with a C, I think it's one of those but it's really, really pretty. It's kind of hard to see the color on camera very well, but very muted, like pinks, oranges, and browns, very like fall tone colors, and it's very soft. I'm not too sure what kind it is. It kind of feels like cotton. There's no inclination on it to what it is, but it was only $5, but I had a 20% off coupon from their website, and I also went to Michael's because they have knockoff Stanley cups there. So I got this Stanley cup, not a Stanley cup. It's the Michael's brand, and this was $20, and then I had my 20% off coupon, which took off $4. So basically I got the yarn for free at Michael's and I just paid for the cup and I'm obsessed with it. I like the way Stanley's look, but I don't like the very intense like capitalism that has been hitting people's heads when it comes to the Stanley cups. Like the craze for them is absolutely just ridiculous. And I would never spend $50 on a stainless steel cup when you can get them cheaper literally everywhere else. So I'm gonna see if this works well. It's hard to tell on camera, but it's a very, very beautiful pastel lavender color. They also had pinks and blues and like very pretty Eastery pastel colors. It's really cute. It's the same size as a Stanley. And I wanted one of these because I really do like the handle. And my current water bottle is like a half a gallon one and it's just too big to lug around. And I needed something a little bit smaller. So I'm excited to use this. So that's my new emotional support water bottle and I'm very happy with it. I don't like joining the crowd of getting a Stanley like cup, but I actually genuinely do like the way that it looks. And real quickly, this is not craft related, but I went to Five Below and I wanna show you guys what I got and I ended up finding everything that I wanted to find. So I'm very happy about that. 
So I knew that I was gonna get a Stanley Lit cup and I saw these straws with removable toppers for $3 at Five Below. So it comes with a bunny, a bear, a chick, and a frog. I'm probably gonna use this little bunny for my Stanley cup. And it's just to protect anything from going into your straw because one of my biggest fears is going to sip into my straw and then I swallow like a spider or something. You never know, it could happen. And also just having some more straws to switch out with that one is really nice too. And they had a bunch of different cute ones, but this one was my favorite. And then I got this mirror and I saw this on TikTok and I feel like it's the perfect mirror to put on top of my new little yarn area. So we're gonna go over there and decorate it real quick. And I got the white one. There was also a pink one, but pink doesn't really match my living room. My living room is more of like dark greens and blacks and stuff. So I didn't get the pink one. I just got the white one because I think it's cute and it'll be cute to take like little selfies in and stuff like that too. And that was $5.55 or something since inflation, it's not five below anymore. But, and then I saw this phone grip, this sparkly teddy bear phone grip, and I'm either gonna put this on my Kindle or I'm gonna put it on my phone. I haven't decided what I want to use it on yet, but this was $4, I believe. And then lastly, this is what I went to five below for. I'm very sad that they didn't have the mushroom one but they had the strawberry one and this is a strawberry vase. I am obsessed with this. I got the last one. I'm very happy. I walked in, went straight to it, grabbed the last one. They didn't have the mushroom ones. I will definitely be looking for the mushroom ones in the future, but this is beautiful. I'm gonna either put my crocheted flowers that I'm gonna make in the future in this or my Lego flowers, but I'm gonna go put it on my little yarn thing too, so. This was $5.55. So I spent like $20 in total at Five Below. And today was a really good day and I'm really excited to use this yarn too. Finally got the rest of my yarn order from Joann's. So now I can finally show you the beautiful yarn that I got. I also finished my shrug today and I, as you guys saw, I steamed it and blocked it. So that means that I should be able to wear it tomorrow. I'm gonna try it on tonight to see if it fits okay and then wear it tomorrow. And I'm so tired of having bad lighting, like always. This is packed to the brim full of yarn. Oh my God. Okay, so I got four of these Premier Bloom Chanel 100% polyester yarn. And this is just me. This is literally Chanel yarn that has flowers all over it. And most of the colors were sold out, but luckily my favorite color was not sold out yet, which was this one. This is in tulip, so these make little tulips. And like I said, I got four of them because they were on such a good deal. I don't know how much they are normally. I don't remember, but I know I got them for super cheap. It's so soft. I don't know what I'm gonna make out of it yet because I don't wanna waste it. I believe this whole package is like my super bulky, like fluffy yarn. This one I added to my cart immediately. This is the Premier Parfait Chunky Pom Pom. I don't know if that's how you say it but I got it because it reminds me of rainbow sherbet ice cream. So it's this beautiful like sherbet green color with these beautiful rainbow pom-poms inside of it. I got two of them. They were also super affordable and this is 85% polyester and 15% nylon. I have no idea what I'm gonna make out of these things, but it was just so beautiful. And then lastly, I have some more of the flower yarn. I just went crazy with this like soft, super bulky yarn because I never really buy it because it's so expensive. So since I was able to get it for so cheap, I just went ahead and splurged on a bunch of them. So this is the same flower yarn and this is in marigold. So this makes little marigold flowers. So it's white with some orange flowers. This is absolutely stunning. So I also got four of these. So I got four of each, basically. I wanted to get four of the pom-pom yarn, but those were also sold out. So now I just have 
a bunch of super bulky, incredibly soft yarn. And the next project I wanna make, I think with these is a Kindle poof. I don't know which one I wanna use. I'll probably use the pink one for the poof to keep the poof for myself and probably put like a pretty lace ribbon on it and give it like a really girly feel but I'm not too sure yet. Yeah, that was my Joann's haul. I got a lot of yarn in this video. I don't typically buy that much yarn, honestly, but that Joann's cell was just way too good to pass up. I finished my shrug. Here it is. I love it. I took some pictures before work today when it was good lighting outside and I took some cute pictures and I posted them on Instagram. Here's the back, here's the front. I just wore it with some high-waisted jeans because I was wearing it to work. Um, I will definitely be wearing this outfit many more times. I just love it so much. It was such a good tutorial. So I will post the link to the YouTube video I watched down below. It has like millions of views and it is a really good tutorial showing how to make it. It was super easy and I'm in love with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this crochet with me vlog here because I showed you guys the things that I made in the month of January and tomorrow is February 1st. So I figured I would start a new crochet with me video for February and make some Valentine's themed crochet items. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to check out my social medias down below. And if you guys have a TikTok, please, please follow my small business TikTok. I'm trying to grow it a lot more over there because TikTok is just the place to be now. <laughs> so I'm trying to grow my small business over there. So if you can follow me, I'll have it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.